Well, you know, when you talk about leaving a legacy, when you leave this earth, uh, I just want people to know that I treated people right. I took care of my family. I worked hard. I never, uh, I never asked for anything in life to be given to me. I've always worked hard for everything I've got. I just enjoyed my time while I was here. My hunting partner my whole life has been my father. It's really strange to hunt with somebody else. There's a lot of memories that I create that if it weren't for hunting and this ground and the things we do, they wouldn't exist. You know, it, it would just be, I don't know, it'd be kind of empty without it, to be honest with you. I'm Jeff Probst, I'm 59 years old. I live in uh, Northeast Missouri up near the Iowa border where Iowa, Illinois, and Missouri all come together. Um, married, two kids, uh, Chris, and I have a daughter, four grandkids, and I work as a, uh, a land specialist for Whitetail Properties. Chris Probst, I'm uh, 32 years old. I live in Peebley, Missouri, a uh, town just south of St. Louis, about 25 miles. Uh, I've been hunting since I was nine years old and uh, love every second of it. All my life, I dreamed of owning my own hunting land, and um, I've been fortunate to own this farm and a couple others, but this farm is like my baby. I, uh, I always wanted to have a farm in Clark County, Missouri, because I love this area up here. I've been coming up here for years hunting, and uh, when I seen this farm, I just, I just knew uh, that I had to have it if, if I could get it done. For me, I, you know, I work a job where I work a ton of hours, and I work swing shifts, so um, when I'm not doing stuff with my kids and my family, uh, I like to spend every second I can up here. There's two places if I could move, I'd move. It one would be either northern Missouri or it'd be out west. Um, and I just, I love it up here. We've been in, involved in the hunting industry for a long time. Uh, my dad started filming in the early 80s really, I guess, probably before I was even born. I was born in 86. so. He started with Quaker Boy filming turkey hunts all over the United States. And then that went into filming with uh, Drew Outdoors when they started. This week on Bow Madness, father-son duo Jeff and Chris Probst are chopping at the bit to get their season started. As far as the two of us hunting together, we've been hunting together filming-wise really since I started hunting. One day we both shot uh, nice white tails. 15 minutes apart out of the same stand. Uh, it was my morning to hunt and he was filming and a nice big buck come through that we had a lot of pictures of, big nine pointer, and I shot him and he ran off and I climbed down out of the tree and I looked across through the, through the woods and there was another big buck coming from where mine ran too. Dude, see him up. Having to act fast, Chris lowers the camera down to Jeff and the two make the quick exchange. And all of a sudden an arrow comes flying out of nowhere and double lungs a deer and he ran 40 yards and fell over dead. <laughs> so that was a pretty special hunt, probably our most special deer hunt. The best takeaway for me as far as all those years spent was there was a lot of really special moments that I got to spend with my dad in the outdoors. It took us places that I probably would never get to see. I just have an extremely uh, strong desire to be good at whatever I do. And uh, I'm not good at a ton of things, but there's a few things I feel like I'm pretty good at. One of them is, is business and, and, and treating people right and, and being driven with you know, hard work.
It's a weird looking deer. I don't know. You guys, them deer, them beans ate down in the dirt. Right there. When we quit filming in 2016, that was kind of my deal. It was back to basics, just getting back to hunting and an appreciation for the land. And uh, I've kind of stuck by it since. And man, it's I, I don't I won't go back. I really enjoy it. I've been hunting all my life. I'll be 60 years old here in, in August of this year. And uh, I'm looking forward to the next chapter of my life and that's, and that's hunting with my grandkids. And uh, I have a daughter and obviously Chris. And my daughter, she's got two boys and, and so I'm really looking forward to getting them started hunting and teaching them like I taught, not taught Chris. I spend every second I can taking them out onto the farm and uh, introducing the, the sport to, of hunting to them and so far they you know my youngest is two and a half my little boy but my little girl she's been with me several times you know, she's went back and heard turkeys gobble and she's seen me shoot a couple of deer both with a bow and a muzzleloader and she helped my dad track a buck he killed back here good lord keeps me on this earth my uh, my goal is to teach my kids to hunt there's not many or my grandkids there's not many people teaching kids to hunt like it used to be and uh, that worries me it really does because the average age of hunters keeps rising every year and I want to see my grandkids enjoy what brought so much joy to my life, my entire life. So that's kind of where I'm headed the next part of my life.